Good afternoon, everybody. David Schuster here on Take Action News. So glad to have you with us. Don't worry, the timing uh, issues are on our end. It is really 11 after 2, but uh, in Chicago, it is now almost right after uh, six minutes after 5 o'clock through the magic of our editing of this show. So glad to have everybody on board. Um, we're talking with Cliff Schechter in our last uh, segment. Daniel Marins, I want to bring you in if you've got uh, a moment. I think you know, Cliff is right in, in my sense about Adam Kokesh, and he's a very articulate guy and clearly a, a smart guy, but uh, but warped in his views and his understanding of history. And I just I just wonder if maybe he's suffering from some sort of PTSD or something that, that happened in his, his military service. He served in Fallujah, and it just some of his behavior just seems kind of erratic. I mean, I mean David, I think that's actually patently unfair. Uh, you know, how dare we say that <clears throat> someone who frankly leads a normal, sane, nonviolent lifestyle is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and that someone with post-traumatic stress disorder doesn't have the ability to treat it or keep it under control. No, I, I think that's really unfair. But but I, I, I do think that there's no question that someone who served in the Iraq war with good faith and the understanding and the hope that they were serving the country and saw the horrors of the Iraq war and the lies that it was that it was based on and the disarray that it resulted in and maybe said well the institutions that I thought were serving the interests of the American people I can no longer have faith in um, someone like Kokesh who may be seeing many of his peers who served in the Iraq war dealing with alcoholism dealing with severe issues of PTSD, psychological scars. I mean, the stories are unbelievable and, and they're horrible. Um, that, that can be a formative experience. And mm -hmm. I, I think that, um, but just as any of us deal with those personal experiences and they inform our political views, I don't think that that's an illegitimate one. I, I, I just, I, I think we can vehemently disagree with the extremes to which he goes. But I, th I think bringing bringing in his psycholo you know, any psychological issues he may have is um, is, is really unfair. I mean, and, and keep in mind, you know, we went after Mitch McConnell for targeting Ashley Judd in that way, and sure. it, uh, you know, we should think of no different of Adam Kokesh. Fair point. Well, Daniel, that's one of the reasons why I love you is they keep me in my proper lanes and proper channels, and uh, and correct me when I uh, when I do become unfair. And, and fair point.